Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Gwen. We are here with another sit down BU related video. For those who don't know, my name is Gwen. I'm a rising sophomore studying environmental analysis and policy at BU. I just finished my freshman year, so I feel like I have a fresh new lens and like perspective to give you guys. So today we're gonna be doing a little pros and cons of Boston University because I feel like a lot of people would wanna know the truth and <laughs> what's good, what's not, and all those things. So let's get into it. Also, before we start the video, wanted to give a quick little shout out to the BU CCD TikTok and Instagram. I'm currently running both as a social media like communications assistant. It's my job over the summer. So it'd be really cool if you guys would check it out. If you go to BU, I think it's super helpful as well. I'll put the TikTok here and I'll put the Instagram here. But yeah, over the summer, I'm going to be doing a lot of content with them. Resume related, like professional career development related. I'm also running the LinkedIn as well. You can follow our LinkedIn. And yeah, that was just a quick little shout out for the BU CCD. So I think I'm going to do... 10 pros and 10 cons. I don't know if I can stick with that. We'll try and count. I don't know if I can. I think the first pro about BU is that our campus is super easy to navigate. Like it is a straight line. You are not going to get lost. Still, everything is super walkable on campus. I will say a con that comes with that is that you really have to take into account the distance between classes because you can be running from let's say CGS which is all the way in West Campus to like Morse. Well our campus isn't crazy and like super hard to navigate I think you definitely have to take into account time obviously if you're in a big lecture it doesn't really matter because I feel a lot of people walk in late but for me personally I have like max 20 30 people in my classes so walking in late is kind of a bad thing on me I've never done it before because I hate being late I hate it with all my heart but yeah the time management like that's the most important thing second would be dining I know I complain a lot about dining in my video I recently formed like a hatred towards Warren dining hall Ours is so tough to the water fountain and it was cloudy water. You know, after the experience we had at Warren this afternoon. Oh my god. Marciano is like a glorified Warren. The pizza was an oil spill. It was given like Exxon Mobil oil spill on the pizza. I can't eat it. I think I over exaggerate a lot. I'm not gonna be mean to our dining hall services because I feel they're good compared to a lot of other things I've seen online. Usually at least always one vegan thing in the dining hall. And especially if you're close to like Marcy, I feel like you'll have a good experience. But I will say a con with dining is especially at Warren and West, I I can't say good stuff. Like um, I'm not a picky eater, but I think definitely like finals week, midterms, the dining gets very, very like mid and then at the end of the semester there's nothing you're being fed nothing i'm not living in warren anymore so i can't say anything but if you're living in warren next semester take advantage of the starbucks little um booth if they still have it if there's a coffee machine some syrups some tea bonnet tea a bunch of cool stuff so that's a pro about dining okay next i said we're gonna get into dorms you're not going to be living the life <laughs> in your dorm and um, there's it's just rare that you have a good dorm your first semester i think most freshmen either live in warren or west and let me tell you those dorms are run down i went to west for orientation and i lived in warren during my semesters at bu but honestly you get used to it you know you live in a jail for the couple of months that you're at school but I can't really like give you hope about our dorms because they're not the best. I mean, obviously it comes with living in a city school where you know you're kind of limited with your building space, but you get used to it. I feel dorm communities are pretty tight knit, so it won't be the first thing you're worried about. If you have friends on your floor, everything will be okay. I will say for pros, there are like a couple of good dorms that have AC, a kitchen, you know, bare living necessities. I will not reveal where I'm living yet, but I have a pretty nice dorm, so I'm super excited. I'm excited to do the move-in vlog. I'm living with my roommate Rhea again. I'm so excited. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna be living in a lot more of a peaceful, calm dorm. So I'm excited to show that to you guys. There are some good ones, but most of the time, it's going to be like a really old dorm. Transportation. Transportation is super freaking easy. You take the T, you walk, you take the bus, or you're biking. Like those are your main modes of transportation. I find it so much better than a traditional campus. That's why I love BU so much because you can just go anywhere you want to. Like if you want to go to Newberry and do some shopping right after class, you could totally just hop on the T and take the T there and be there in like five minutes. Or if you want to go to a coffee shop, there's literally one 
at least every like five minutes. My number one hack, do not, do not ever, ever, ever take the tea from Warren to the gym. Like that's $2.40 and it's kind of crazy. But you know, there are so many other reliable transportation systems like the BU bus, which I really love. And you know, Blue Bikes, they have a membership. I've talked about it in one of my other videos. I think I wanna kind of get into academics because I don't really talk about it that much. But class registration is shit. You've heard me talk about this multiple, multiple times. It is terrible and I feel like this is a universal thing. It can't be the only thing at BU. If you're in a big major where there's a lot of classes, I don't think there's as much of a struggle, but there definitely is. Like I know within the bio department, it's super difficult to get classes that you want. I'm editing. I think a point that I miss with this is that CAS is treated like shit. And I forgot to mention that in the video. I feel all the other schools like Eng, Questrom, Com, they all have a lot of professional development and a transition into the professional world where CAS really isn't given that kind of treatment. I don't know why, but for some reason CAS, even though it's like the biggest freaking school in BU, is still treated terribly. Like I will walk into Questrom and they will have like food out and events like every single day. Yes, I have a vendetta against Questrom. Yes, I do. I'm I'm a proud hater. But yeah, I think it's obvious where the money goes and that's kind of my whole problem with BU and CAS. And me being like a niche major, an EAP major, it is so freaking difficult to get classes. I have to fight for my life during registration. Personally, me, I feel as if people at BU know me by voice because I call support offices so often like nitpicking about something and I think it's justifiable. So if you ever are struggling with academics, like housing, anything, just bother people. Like that's my number one piece of advice. And you know, um, people might hate me for saying that, but you deserve to get what you want while you are on campus, especially if you're paying tuition. But I will say pro is that we have a lot of unique classes a lot of unique majors like when I was applying for colleges AP wasn't a major offered anywhere else and I feel like that's what drew me to BU as well was just my unique major and I get to take a lot of cool classes that aren't really offered anywhere else which I find super super interesting let's talk about the party scene listen BU is not your traditional party school there are parties thrown and there are frats and there are all that stuff but it's not really the same. Most of BU's rats are mainly in Alston. Let's talk about the Alston crawl. Like you are going to be walking 30 minutes in the middle of the night when the tea shuts down and something that people complain about a lot. But you know, don't go to BU if you wanna go to a school with a party scene. Like I can think that's pretty obvious, but I think a traditional campus is a lot more um, reliable when it comes to frats compared to BU. We still have a party culture here, but it's just really different. I haven't said a con in a while. Hmm. I complain a lot, so this should be easy for me. Oh, a con. There is no faculty diversity. There is zero faculty diversity. I did a whole study on this. I think I was in WR151. For my WR151 class in spring, 70 something percent of all faculty members identify as white and the rest are POC. And personally, I find that a little disturbing. Personally, all my teachers have been white and most of them have been men as well. Obviously, it's something that I feel like BU is still working on. We have the BU Belonging Survey, but if I'm going to be honest, the student body compared to the faculty body, like there's a lot more diversity in the student body, and I feel like something BU needs to work on is definitely their faculty diversity because I think it definitely lacks. Oh, let's talk about like on-campus dining, but not with your meal swipes but your dining points i love all the stuff we have on campus saxby's i love starbucks is pretty reliable i love einstein like i love einstein bagel so much but a con that comes with it is that everyone is on campus at the same time ordering food at the same time you are so it's gonna be an hour wait during like rush hour so my biggest hack is if you want to grab something quick to eat after class definitely pull out your phone in the middle of class and order something like 20 or 30 minutes before lecture ends to get your stuff on time because i will say do not place an order thinking you'll get it in a minute because you won't it's obviously busy workers are obviously doing their best to get things out at reliable and reasonable time but there's going to be a wait and that's just the truth of it all okay i think i'm gonna do one last one I feel like I have so much more to say, so maybe I'll do another video with the pros and cons. But I'm gonna go with a con. Some lecture rooms are super, super hot. I don't know what it is, but BU does not know how to control their lecture room temperatures. Especially if you're in the psych building, the basement of the psych building, you will be literally sweltering. I do not know how they just mess it up. And I know my roommate has told me, um, 
an SCI, one of those rooms, the camera room, it's super freaking hot as well. So I think just dress appropriately and kind of scope out the temperature of your rooms. So I think it's something that really affects your learning process. You know, not all your classes are gonna be like CDS, like the Jenga building, they're not gonna be all nice. From someone who had all her classes in CAS, it's run down. And you know, it's giving old school, but you know, it's not terrible, it's not bad. If you luck out, you get some classes in newer buildings, but it's something to expect. Like, don't be comfortable, like you're not gonna be comfortable first off. But yeah, you know, once in a blue moon, you'll have a nice classroom. But besides that, it's pretty run down, it's pretty old. I feel like BU is not really putting their money into any of our academic buildings. So that's something that I'm kind of bothered by, but you know what, it's fine, it's whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know anything else you guys want me to put out. Definitely we'll be coming out with more BU related videos. I'm gonna do a dorm packing list because I think living at BU is very different from the super standard dorm because you have a lot less space. So I wanna tell you guys how to pack and you know just bring things properly so i think that's another video i have in mind i definitely want to do a q a soon so if you have any questions please comment them down below because i love the q a i did last time and yeah follow buccd on tiktok follow me on tiktok instagram you know where to find me my links are down below and with that said i will see you guys next time bye